Good morning, my little stars. How are you? Hope you all are fit and fine. Hopefully, all of you are busy nowadays with your homework as you are getting all the study material of all subjects and doing the revision of all the subjects properly. Students, take all your sheets. I'll take revision test of lesson number 11. Write down date. Revision test. Subject science. Lesson 11. Push and pull. First question, new words. Number one, force. Number two, frictional force. Force, frictional force. Leave one line, write on second question. Answer the following. First question, what is gravitational force? What is gravitational force? Second question, what would happen if the earth had no gravity? What would happen if the earth had no gravity? Third question, fill up. First fill up, dash is a push or a pull. Dash is a push or a pull. Second one, to slow down a moving object, force has to be applied in the dash direction. To slow down a moving object, Force has to be applied in the dash direction. Question number 4. True or false? Number 1. Force can change the shape of some objects. Force can change the shape of some objects. Number 2. Friction is less on rough surfaces. Friction is less on rough surfaces. Fifth question. Tick the correct answer. Number one, magnet attracts. Magnet attracts iron, plastic, rubber, all of these. All have done. Okay, students. Now, we'll do the diagram practice. Open your books. Lesson number six. Plants in the surroundings and environment. Page number 48. Page number 48. Okay, students. First look here. You know a plant has two parts. Root system, shoot system. Two systems are there. Root system and shoot system. For C, this one is root. This one is root. This one is stem. Stem. Next leaf. Fruit. Flower. Bud. This one is shoot system. This one is Shoot system. First, I'll explain you root system. At first, I'll explain you root system. Students, see, these are roots. These are roots. And you know what's the function of the roots? They fix the plant in the soil. They fix the plant in the soil. And they absorb water and minerals from the soil. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Stem, it is a backbone of the plant. Which part is called backbone of the plant? That is the stem. That is the stem. What it does? It keeps a plant erect. It keeps a plant erect. And it conducts water, food to all parts of the plant. This is a function of the stem. Stem is called the backbone of the plant. It conducts water and minerals to all parts of the plant. Leaf. Okay. We call it food factory of the plant because it makes food for the plant. And the color of the leaf is green. Why it is green? It is due to pigment chlorophyll because chlorophyll is present in the leaf. That's why it is green. Fruit. It is a fleshy part of the 
plant. We eat the fruits, na mango, apple, banana. Understood? And this is the most attractive part of the plant is that is the flower. That is the flower. But it is the small portion of the flower. It is a little one portion of the flower. You know, we eat the different types of fruit and seeds are present inside the fruit. A banana, it doesn't have the seed. Pomegranate, it has so many seeds. Apple, they have some seeds. Understood? Now, take out your copies and we'll draw the parts of the plant. Take out your copies. Draw roots, stem, leaf. You can draw the shape, any shape of the leaf. Fruit, you can draw any fruit. Flower, bird. Write on your roots. Here write on shoot. All I have done. Do coloring also students. Without coloring you won't get any mark in the exam. All I have done. Very nice. Now revise the parts of the plant for 2 minutes. Afterwards you will draw the photosynthesis on the next page. Two diagrams in the first term exam. Parts of the plant and photosynthesis. Okay students. Now I do the photosynthesis students. You know what is photosynthesis? The green plant, the process by which green plants make their food in the presence of air, water and sunlight. It is called photosynthesis. Only green plants, they can make their own food. You know, only green plants, they can make their food. In the presence of air, water and sunlight. First write on photosynthesis. Draw roots. Roots, they absorb water and minerals from the soil. And green color leaves. You know why the color of the leaf is green? Due to the presence of pigment called chlorophyll. Because chlorophyll is present in the leaf. And leaves, what they take? They take carbon dioxide. What they take? They take carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. What they give out? Oxygen. Dry beautiful flower. Dry a sun, yellow color. Okay, who gives us heat and light? Sun. Who gives us heat and light? Sun. Sun gives us heat and light. Light, the process by which green plants make their food in the presence of air, water and sunlight, it is called photosynthesis. The color of the roots are brown, leaf green color, flower as you wish, sun yellow, all I have done, very nice. Do coloring. These two diagrams are in the first term syllabus. Okay, revise for two minutes, students.